Pendulum Magician deck profile. Best deck? Of course it's the best deck. Let's go, let's get into this profile pen, best deck. Alright guys, welcome back to my Pendulum Magician deck profile. This is not Draco Slayers, not yet, I haven't got all the stuff. Um, it's more magic better Draco Slayers. Um, obviously I'm doing this for the budget series, um, but I thought I'd bring you a proper one with Baron and stuff. So let's get into the profile and I'll tell you the reasons why I'm playing the, these ratios. Three Harmonizing Magician. This card's insane. It allows you to special summon a magician from deck when it's pendulum summoned. Also, it cannot be pendulum summoned from the extra deck. So that's why we play three Oath Dragon. Because we play Baron, so it's important to play three. Um, also, it adds Oath uh, Harmonizing back and Cosmic Runarang as well, but it's three standard. Um, three Double Iris. Um, this one, when it's destroyed by Battle by Card Effect, adds you the Pen Graphs. So, yeah, it's really good. Uh, three Wisdom Eye replaces itself in the scale to, to become any magician scale. Also, if you have Performed Power Monkey Board, you can still activate this because it's also um, it's when a magician or Performed Power is in the scale. So, yeah, it's really good. Um, play three Purple Poison. Um, so this card's insane, it allows you to break boards um, and the fact that also I built this deck to like go second as well. So a Magician in my opinion is a utility card but it's also really good with like Wisdom Might. This deck is basically ranked 4 turbo, I'm not playing Scythe. Um, Scythe is good but I just want to keep it ranked 4 uh, turbo. I think that's probably the best route to go, but you can play Scythe if you really want to. Uh, three Black Frame Magician. Um, might not be good going first, but going second, this card's insane. The utility of it is really good. Um, also, it's a level 4. Like I said, I'm playing Rank 4s and Rank 4 version. You know, most of these Magicians are level 4s, apart from Earth Dragon, but, you know, against Tia, Dweller's like really good. If you have it backed up with a Baron, and a pen graph, like I don't really think Tira winning that matchup unless like play Sprite or something. But yeah, it's really good. And Tia's probably one of the is the, the best deck of the format. Uh one white wing magician. Uh this is in here for the extra tuner because uh harmonizing can't be synchroed with the perform pals. Or the curtain razor or anything like that. So that's why I play one white wing magician. Um, but yeah, it's really good. For the form pals, one monkey board. This card's at one. Wishes it, it was at more. It searches three Joker. So glad this card's at three. Um, you can search uh, any magician or form power or dice. So it's probably one of the best cards in the deck. So yeah, really good. Uh, play three sorcerer. Um, this one pops your double iris to add the pen graphs to add jokers or add celestials. Speaking of celestial, this card's actually insane. Um, but yeah, back onto the sorcerer. It's really good going first. Um, you kind of, you know, you, unless you and you could still pop your double iris with the baron. But yeah, it's really good. And celestials monster effect. If you're against here, you make baron as the fifth summon. And if you have this. You lock off their monster effects, so yeah, it's really good. For the extenders, three curtain razor. Um, this is this is really good. Tia is playing spell canceller, so you can normal summon this and just beat over the spell cancellers. Then you can start playing. Also, it can get over Naturia Beast uh, for when the Ashizu Naturia Beast deck comes out. So yeah, it's really good, and it's level four. Uh, one Astrograph, this card is really good going second. Uh, you can play Zark if you really want to, uh, but it's in here mainly for the um, extending play. Uh, you search Soft Time Star, and it's normally really broken with like Purple Poison, Wisdom Eye, Double Iris. Yeah, we play Astrograph because it's a really good extender, and you can search Soft Time Star um, for the others. 
three chronograph and one time gazer. Um, really good extender and you know, it's pretty good. For spells, three double iris, uh, doorless alliance, sorry. This one searches star pen graph, time pen graph. These cards are insane. Oh, so what they do is uh, star pen graph, I should have explained, sorry. Uh, when a magician leaves the field, you can add a magician, and Time Pen Graph is bonkers. Play two pen call. Um, I, uh, this card's really good. Like, don't get me wrong, but with I'm playing two because I kind of want to pop my scales with like sorcerer and stuff. But this is kind of still really good to have handy. I might play three. I might even drop it to one. I'm not too sure. Still testing, so I'm playing two. So yeah. And spell cancellers running around. Um, for the extra deck, uh, one artemist. This kind of unbricks hands um, when you're, say, for example, you have star pen graph and this. It, any magician, it doesn't really matter what magician. But if you have this, normal summon, extra deck, link. And then you search for any of the magician. So if you have, like, Wisdom Eye, you search for Oath Dragon. So, then you have another magician. Uh, I don't know, harmonize it for example, it's just an example. Uh, you add back the slash, uh, Oath Dragon. So, it's a link one basically for free with the search, yeah. Stuff like that, it's really good. Just thought I'd show you. Um, one Dark Charmer. This one takes your opponent's uh, Dark Monsters from Graves. You can make Selene or Access Code. Uh, one Beyond the Pendulum. It's not Electromite, but it's still really good. Um, pay one, two, and search the missing pendulum uh, card you need. Also, if you summon two levels, monsters, pendulum monsters different to these zones. So if you pendulum summon, for example, Chronograph and Time Gazer, um, you can pop two cards, and it's really good going second. So, yeah, that's why I play Beyond the Pendulum. Uh, one Selene, uh, this card's really good. Uh, also set up the access code line. Also can reborn spellcasters from Grave. So yeah, it's really good. One Appaloosa, uh, negating cards is monster effects is really good against like Tia, Sprite, um, anything generic. You know, it's really good. Nibiru, uh, one access code to finish games. Uh, so. One Baron, um, you can easily make in this deck with Chronograph and White Wing, or White Wing and Oath, or Harmonizing and Oath Dragon. And this allows you to pop your Double Iris to add you, add you the Pen Graph. Uh, I'm playing one Omega. So the, the theory behind this is you'll normally have, for example, one, two, four, eight. For example, you pen summon one, two, three, in fact, summon from deck, right? So you have four, um, you go these two into this, and then you have a, go a mega effect to loop the card at the hand. So if you're playing, uh, I don't know, against like tier elements, you get hand knowledge of what to make. So you can do this and then put, I don't know, Dweller, or if you're playing against Flunderese, Laguska, or if you're playing against the back row deck, you put Tornado. So that's just the theory behind it. Um, I think it's a cool theory, um, but you can replace this with Ignista, uh, you can play Savage Dragon, um, you can play the Tengi, uh, Berserker the Tengi if you really want to, but I like Omega. Um, for the uh, one Tornado for back row decks and pop in your own um, Double Iris or any other. Um, Problematic cards, one Baguska, this card's insane against Flunderies and Salt Soul and Despia, so yeah, it's pretty good. I would consider playing two if I had the room, but I've played one for the time being. Um, so here's the theory for this. Oh, hold on. Uh, Supreme King, Dragon, Dark Worm, Rebellion. Um, this ends games by itself. Uh, two Time Star. Um, if you really want to, you can cut a Time Star for a Dagda, put a Scythe in. Um, but I'm, I might try Scythe out in the future, but I like this build at the moment. 
Um, so time star is really good. You can add dark spell casters and also protect your scales. Um, so yeah, if you're playing against like Flunder, uh, you normally make time star and Baguska, um, and then you've got Pengraph. But yeah, so you have the Pengraph backed up, and then you'll go effect against Flunderies, uh, target one of the scales. Um, and then you'll go time star, send a spellcaster grave, and send. So, yeah, it's really good. I mean, if the open dark ruler, the open dark ruler, right? <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, so, that's for two time star magicians. Um, so, in the budget series, I've said that when we're at regionals in Brighton, I was discussing with Ryan and Shane, and we decided to play two dweller. Uh, I'm still on this. I think this, card, this, this card's insane. It literally wins games by itself against tier elements. Um, if you can't OTK, um, or they've gone awkward board, you can make the second one comes out, you can make the second one. Um, but yeah, there's actually a cool thing you can do, because uh, some of the time they'll try and be over the uh, dweller. So what you can do is instead of putting, if you don't have, if you're pen, don't have pen graph, put harmonizing in the scale. So for example, they have you have three magicians in the scale, in the extra deck, your dweller becomes 2-2. Two, two. So, yeah, just little things like that that make the deck really insane. Um, but, yeah, that's my pendulum deck, magician deck profile. I hope this helped. Um, if there's anything I could change um, about it, um, you could play Scythe. I'm not against playing Scythe, but I find that this version's worked for me really well. Um, I haven't talked to any events or anything, but... Um, you know, this this deck's fun, um, and you know we don't have Hulk anymore, unfortunately. But it's what it is. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to play Scythe, you could you could take out the Omega if you really want um, one of the Dwellers or one of the Time Stars. Um, but yeah, and you know play Scythe, uh, take out one of these. Also, you could play Prosperity, Desires, Allure. Um, I've chosen not to go that route because uh, of draw. But I know this deck searches, so that, that doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching the Pendulum Magician deck profile. Um, hopefully, I've gone in depth on why I play the ratios I do. Um, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check out the budget series for episode three coming this week. Cheers, guys.